welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the apply doctor account page so before going to work on that first we are going to get the doctor model ready so let's uh, uh, add the doctor model then we are going to have the UI screen go to the user model and here let's observe the schema user schema so like this only we are going to have this uh, doctor model dot js so const mongoose is equal to require mongoose const doctor schema is equal to require mongoose dot schema so the first one will be first name first name of the doctor so I'm going to follow the camel case first name type string required true then we'll be having the last name type string required true then we'll be having email type string required true uh, password we don't require because already it will be having the password we need phone number phone number type string required true then we'll be having so we got first name last name email phone number uh, in the basic details these are required uh, we can have website if they want website type string required true so this comes under the basic details of the doctor first name last name email phone number website and also address type string required true yeah now let's come to the professional so the professional will be uh, the first one department or else uh, we can call it as specialization specialization type string required true like they will be having uh, something departments like uh, cardiology all those things right so like that they have to keep specialization then we are going to have experience experience type string required true and the last one will be fee per consultants fee per consultation fee per consultation this is a uh, type integer we can keep uh, I think type number type number then we can have required true and the last one will be uh, work hours consultation hours or else we can call it as consultation hours so this is also it's actually type object because we'll be having a required from to like that type object or one more thing uh, we can do for the best is uh, we can have direct from time from time from time type string required true then we'll be having two times so we can accord we can filter accordingly if we have separate separate from time two time type string required true that's all and here we are going to have the timestamps required true and then we will be having the model close so we got this doctor schema now I'm going to create the doctor model const doctor model is equal to mongoose dot model doctors doctor schema module dot exports is equal to doctor model so here if you observe clearly we forgot one thing here the, that is user id so from which user id this doctor is created so we should have the user id so user can be a doctor so a doctor should have the user id also so after the first name and last name or before this first name and last name only i am going to have user id 
be quite true so this is the doctor model so we got the doctor model now let's go and design the screen based on this model go to the app.js and create a screen for it app.js first let me go to the pages apply doctor dot js so i'll just write rfc now let's go to the app.js copy any one of the protected route and create it so the route will be apply doctor and here the component will be apply doctor <laughs> so we have already worked with the entity forms in the login and registration screen so i'm going little bit fast in this lecture because we know how to implement all the form items everything so let's go and render that first so i'll log out from the admin and i'll log in with the user and i'll create a user for the doctor so from that user only i'm going to apply the doctor account so i'm going to write gautam gautam at gmail.com oh sorry this is uh, name right so name i am going to write venom venom so venom at gmail.com venom123 at gmail.com password is equal to i am going to write same thing 1234567 register yeah so now if i open the uh user model we got the venom so at this point this venom is also an user so he's not a doctor he's not an admin he's a normal user here you can see each doctor is equal to false is admin is equal to false now i am going to apply for the doctor account from this user by logging in so i am going to log in with venom credentials venom123 at gmail.com so i got the user menu oh why i logged into the admin i think by mistake i have logged in with the admin credentials venom 1234567 login what the hell is this why i am getting the admin here let me let me open network refresh yeah so there is some cache issue so that's the reason i have logged into that yeah now it's looking good uh we got venom and we got apply doctor page here you can see we got the apply doctor page now i go to the apply doctor and first i will remove this div and i'll keep the layout layout yeah so we got the screen so i am going to keep the title h1 sorry h1 apply doctor yeah so if i go to the layout.css i'll be having the content where is where is body so this is the body right so for this body i am going to have padding is equal to 15 px from all the sides yeah this is looking clean and i am going to the index.css and in the common styling i am going to create page title above the card title i am going to create page title page title font size is equal to i'll just keep it 25 pixels color i am going to keep it uh, black margin i don't require and for this uh, h1 also i am going to apply the same class name is equal to page title yeah this is looking clean now so we can also keep the font weight bold where is it index.css font weight is equal to bold 
yeah so we got this apply doctor page now i am going to get the form uh, let me show you in the deployed version so in the deployed version i'll register with the credentials uh, test user test user at gmail.com password 1234567 uh, login uh internet is working think there is an issue in my deployed version yeah i got the message registration successful now i am going to log in with the test user credentials 1234567 login yeah so here you can see this is the apply doctor page so we are going to have in the two sections so this is the normal basic information and this is the normal infor uh, doctor information so like this way we are going to write so let's go to the apply doctor so we got this page so instead of black just gray out it index.css decrease some opacity yeah so let's have a form form from the entity we are going to build it very fast form so i got the form then we should have the grids so i'll show you why we need the grids here you can see in the desktop view i am seeing three fields for one row if i go to the mobile view i will see only one field for one row so for this we are going to have the entity uh, grids or rows whatever it may be so i'll just write entity row so in this row we'll be having the columns call so in this call you just have to specify how much space it should take so by default entity row will be having 24 columns so for the first column i am going to write uh, span is equal to 24 so in the normal devices it will take uh, sorry in the normal devices it will take eight columns but in the excess that means extra small devices like mobile it is going to take 24 that means full width and also in the sm sm also 24 so this is the way that we have to follow uh, now i am going to write form dot item so we got the suggestions already uh, i want entity input input placeholder is equal to first name yeah that's all so input is not defined let's define this so and we also need the name prop name is equal to it should have the same naming convention as like our model in the mongodb also we need to write the validations so rules validations are nothing but the rules in the entity form item terminology so here you have to put an array inside the array i am going to write the first rule required is equal to true required is equal to true and also you can keep it required here so it will be highlighted in the star format and for this form i am going to write class name is equal to uh, oh not class name layout is equal to vertical layout is equal to vertical now let's see the output yeah so here you can see i got the first name so what i have written span is equal to 8 xs 24 sm 24 and uh, why it is taking full width i am going to write lg 8 this is the lg device that means last device 8 yeah now it is taking only half width half that means one by third so we got the first name now i am going to replicate this for the remaining things first name last name email website address let me check what we have in the model doctor model address phone number also so i think i have written four so let's change the names of these so the first one will be first name and the second one will be last name 
Oh, sorry. Last name. Here also last name. And here also last name. Then I'll be having email. So email you can ignore it because already we will be having the user email. So just get rid of the email. Even in the model also I'm going to get rid of that doctor model i'll get rid of the email we need phone number so i'll just write phone number here also phone number copy and uh, paste then we'll be having website and address If the doctor is having personal website he can have it website and uh, the next one here also website the last one will be address address here also address so you have to follow the same naming conventions which you have given as per the mongodb model then only it will work because we are not using any states here so now we got the basic information here you can see first name last name phone number website and address so let's see it is matching with the model or not yeah it is matching we got the basic information so now if i go to the row apply doctor for this row i'm going to apply one property called as gutter gutter is nothing but spacing between the columns i'm going to apply 20 pixels here you can see we got the space between the columns and also uh, here I'm going to write H1 uh, I'll just write card title card title it should be H1 here H1 dot card title this is personal information personal information okay we got like this mm. this is not looking good actually i'll just write mt3 mm. even for the card title also i'm going to have some differentiation between the page title and card title so let's go to the index.css this is the page title so page title i am going to keep it somewhat dark than the card title so this is the card title right so and the size should also be somewhat increased so card title i am going to make it 22 pixels and uh, font weight bold anyhow and color should be uh, i am going to decrease the opacity for the card title what the hell is this oh not 22 rem it's 22 pixels superb now it's looking good and after the h1 you can also apply the hr horizontal line so let's go to the apply doctor after this i'm going to apply hr yeah so this is the page and this is the section we can consider it as section now here we are going to have one more uh, hr after uh, completing the first section let's go to the apply doctor so this is the row right i'm going to have one hr and uh, i'll copy this h1 put it here uh, personal information second one will be professional information professional information so just copy this complete row and replicate this we are going to change the names yes the form is looking good so personal information and professional information so in the professional information we want specialization so first one will be specialization specialization it should be z in the mongodb we have user z here also i'm going to use the spain thing special i special i 
Zation. Zation. Let's see. I'll keep the doctor model aside. Specialization, experience, fee per consultants. So, specialization, experience. Here also, experience. Experience. The next one will be fee per consultation. fee per consultation here i'm going to copy the camel case fee per consultation let's check the cross check the names fee per consultation i'll keep the same name fee per consultation here also i'll just keep this and these two will be numbers type is equal to number here also type is equal to number now uh, the last two will be from time and to time so here we will be having uh, timings so actually we are having the uh, start time and end time directly with the range picker so we are going to have it directly mm, go to the entity and design and components and here just type uh, time picker time picker where is it yeah date picker click on this so along with the date you will be having the time pickers also mm, yeah so actually we need time range picker here you can see we will be having the time range picker so suppose a doctor is doctor consultation time is uh, 7 to uh, 12 so you can choose like this so based on these only we are going to show the hours to the user to select the appointment so we need this component so it is very simple so just import the time picker and write time picker dot range picker <coughs> just copy this i'll tell you so you can get rid of this use only one time picker dot range picker we don't need the status also first let's import the time picker yeah we don't have any errors let's see the output ones instead of website i'll just write timings here also timings cool yeah we got the timings but we are going to uh, style for this so first in mongodb model also instead of having from and to separate time we can keep it timings because anyhow in the entity we'll be having the single component in the time range so we can have the array in that array we'll be having the zeroth index and one index uh go to the doctor model yeah instead get rid of these two things and have timings timing should be an array oh sorry timing should be array required is equal to true that's all so here also we have to keep the same thing timings so we are going to write lot a uh, lot of logic for the timings to apply the filters because if a slot cannot be picked for the two users so there will be huge logic for that we'll be discussing in the coming sections so right now we have to ready the ui so just uh, let me uh, override this styling to match our theme so this is the difficult thing in the entity so inspect this so first we need to get rid of these borders for the two things in the input field so they are here you can see and picker input inside that we will be having uh, input dot and picker input followed by input for that we need to remove the border so let's go to the index.css and entity override so this is the entity override 
I'm going to copy this and inside we are going to have the input for that I'm going to have border is equal to none border is equal to none important yeah the border has gone now uh, we need to uh, decrease the height of the parent element let's find the class for the parent element the parent element class will be uh, ant picker it's just ant picker so let's find the class dot ant picker uh, height should be 1px oh sorry 40px 40px important yeah the height got decreased and we are going to apply the same styling what we have applied for the input field so border radius and all those things now this is perfect and we also don't need this uh, box shadow when we focus the cursor so for that you just need to add this and picker here also dot and picker now we don't have that here you can see it's looking clean and neat so we have to test these ones because we have to get the perfect uh, values so then we can close this ui uh, so we got first row and we got second row now i'm going to create a deflex uh, display flex button button uh, submit submit class name is equal to primary button primary button and i'll just write justify content end this is the action button so it should be at the left side what the hell so it got the complete thing mm, for that what we can do means we can write the inline styling and we can also write uh, actually it is present in the grid right so that's the reason it is taking like that mm, go to the button uh, primary button css find the primary button width is equal to max content make it important yeah now this is perfect so we have this submit button when we click on this submit button we have to get the values in the console let's go to that apply doctor so i'll just write on finish the function going to execute is on finish only here i'm going to write the function on finish values console.log success values so for this button i'm going to write html type is equal to submit so i'm going to enter some random values uh, specialization cardiology cardiology experience 5 fever consultants uh 520 start time will be 9 end time will be uh 15 okay submit let's open the console here you can see i got the values so the layout is getting rendered whenever we refresh the page we are going to remove it so address experience first name last name specialization and we also got the timings so we are going to refactor this timing as i said we are going to work a lot with the timings and date slots so we'll be learning in the next sections so first get rid of this console statement in the layout go to the layout components layout where is the console yeah refresh now there is no console that's all so in the next lecture we'll be working on the back end for applying doctor thank you
welcome back guys in the last lecture we have completed the apply doctor form so now in this lecture we are going to work on the api so the api will also take around 20 minutes of time so the last lecture also took lot of time almost 30 minutes but these are the huge forms anyhow it will take time let's go to the models <laughs> models we have the doctor model everything is looking good user model now we have to write the endpoint that means api for apply doctor so let's go to the user route here we are going to write router.post apply doctor so the reason why i am writing the api in the user is so at this moment the user is not a doctor so the api belongs to still user only after applying the doctor when the admin approves his account then only he will be access to uh, doctor routes so until then he will only give the access to user route only so just copy this register route and put it here so the name will be apply doctor account so the ch i will change the error message error uh, applying the doctor account error applying doctor account then we'll just get rid of everything in the try block we are going to make it everything new so in the doctor model i am going to have one new thing that is status so after uh, by default the status will be pending so after applying we are going to make it uh, something like approved in status in progress all those things status is equal to type string required uh, required not uh, required is false and actually default value default is equal to pending once the admin approves it is going to uh, change as approved yeah so now we are going to get the request body so for that request body we are going to have a uh, status is equal to pending and we are going to push it in the doctor's model then after we are going to send a notification to the admin that you have a request from the user to make it doctor so the admin will verify the credentials if any if you want to call the doctor he can call it and he can ask for the proofs so once everything is good he can, he can uh, approve the doctor account so this is the format so first i am going to write const new doctor is equal to request dot new this is also doctor we have to import the doctor model const doctor is equal to require model slash doctor model so request dot body along with i'm going to add some more dot 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 request dot body and status is equal to pending anyhow even if you don't give also it will work because by default it will be status pending now we have to fetch the admin so there will be uh, only one admin or you can send the notifications to all the admins so i am going to find only one admin uh, what i will do means and this is doctor not user doctor so i'll just write const first we can save this await new doctor dot save then i am going to write const admin user is equal to so await dot user find is admin is equal to true so we are going to have only one so we are going to get the admin user now i am going to write const seen notifications of admin sorry unseen notifications unseen notifications is equal to uh, admin user dot uh, unseen notifications is equal to admin user dot same unseen notifications now i am going to write 
unseen notification dot push type is equal to new doctor request uh, doctor id we are going to instead of doctor id we are going to have the data so for this doctor id and uh, name also we can have name is equal to uh, doctor dot first name plus doctor dot last name and then we'll be having these two are required because it is a simple notification we don't require much and the next one will be on click on clicking on this notification we are going to navigate that uh, user to the path so it should navigate to the slash admin slash doctors whatever it may be so we should have a path uh, that's all so this is the notification that we want to uh, send to the admin whenever a new doctor request is came a notification type data and on click path so we are going to have a message also message uh, has applied for doctor account yeah so so this is the first name of the doctor account this is the last name of the doctor account has applied for doctor account so when the admin click on this notification it is going to sh uh, take to the doctors list there you can apply there you can approve or reject whatever it may be so this is the notification now we are going to write so yeah we got the suggestion already so await uh, user dot find one this user is nothing but the admin user so we are going to update the admin unseen notifications so we are going to push a new notification to admin unseen notifications from there he can clear the uh, notifications so this is the process first we are going to save the doctor then we are going to inform the admin that there is a new doctor request from a user with the first name and last name so this is the way uh, let's try this first if it works it will good let's uh, or else we are going to make the changes let's go to src uh, pages then we'll be having apply doctor so this is the on finish right in this on finish i am going to copy the code from the uh, register we have a lot of things here just copy everything put it here we just have to add all the things manually const dispatch is equal to use dispatch const user is equal to uh, use selector state uh, state dot user then we'll be having uh, axios import use dispatch and use selector from react redux uh, import show loading and height loading from the uh, redux slash alert slice redux slash alert slice then we'll be having import toast from react toastify uh, and import axios from axios and also use navigate const navigate is equal to const navigate is equal to use navigate so we are going to show the message and i'm not going to show any toast message static one navigate to home if it is successful else we are going to show the error message whatever it may be so let's make this function async async that's all can't resolve react toastify this is not react toastify this is react hot toast now we don't have any errors so here we are sending values right along with these values we also need to send the uh, values and user id will be user dot underscore id user dot underscore id that's all uh, i think we are good let's go to the back end ones user route so here if everything is successful we are going to send response dot status 200 success true 
డాక్టర్ అకౌంట్ క్రియేటెడ్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ ఇట్స్ నాట్ క్రియేటెడ్ ఇట్స్ అప్లైడ్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్ యాక్చువల్లీ డాక్టర్ అకౌంట్ అప్లైడ్ successfully yeah so let me print the error in the console yeah we have the error because i know first time for the for the first time we will get the error only and this is the huge code base so refresh yeah so for the testing purpose i am going to use this extension because if we keep on filling these forms for the testing it would take lot of time so i am uh, having an extension called as the form filler so if i click on this it is going to fill the forms so we will get everything so i'll just keep the start time and every, every end time so if everything is successful we are going to write the other logics to maintain the consistency 62 uh 13 because we cannot store the times directly here we have to uh, refactor these things but for first we have to get the api and the functionality should be working then we can work on the refactor so submit something went wrong let's go to the back end we got an error let's check what error it is uh async module bcrypt where we are having bcrypt here shell async we are having a wait a wait a wait where is the issue okay we need to have the middleware as well auth middleware auth middleware from there also you have to send the tokens all those things uh where it is apply doctor so here uh, we haven't changed the endpoint also user slash apply doctor account we are having the account apply doctor account and here the second uh, thing is headers headers i have the authorization bearer user dot token it will not be having with the user you just have to get it from the local storage local storage dot get item token yeah because the user is object what we are getting from the back end in the user object not the token so in the authorization you have to get every time from the local storage itself so the server got restarted this time it should work i hope submit again something went wrong so unseen notifications is not defined so i think we have a spelling mistake let's go to the user route okay admin user dot unseen notifications let's go to the back end admin notifications let's copy this and paste it here it's almost same yeah cool now i have copy pasted the spellings even if you have anything it will be resolved now let's click on the submit once again i think uh, it got uh, crashed in the admin wise that means maybe the uh, doctor account has already created let's refresh this mm, yeah here you can see we got the doctor collection because before the notification logic only we are writing the doctor dot save so i think we should not write like this first you have to send the notification then you have to save it or else if it crashes here the doctor will be saved but the admin will not receive any notification so one more thing we can do even if the admin doesn't see any notification he can see in the doctor's list with the pending approval status so we can have it here only there is no issue but right now we just have to delete this because notification should work as per the expectations submit something went wrong again getting the same thing unseen notifications is not defined yeah here you can see actually the spelling is wrong unseen notifications so it should be having notifications 
notifications yeah now that i have corrected the spelling mistakes again it must be created the doctor account we have to delete it submit yeah here you can see doctor account applied successfully actually i have navigated to the home we don't have the route home we have only the empty slash so i'll change it that's all now let's come here if i go to the home there is nothing here but if i go to the admin user here the doctor account must be created you can see user id first name last name timings everything we got and the next one will be users if i go to the admin this is the admin unseen notifications oh this is venom yeah this is admin unseen notifications we got the list so type new doctor request message so something first name last name has applied for doctor account data so the doctor name and doctor id then we'll be having the on click path so the notification is working fine now if i log in with the admin credentials here we'll be having the notification right that should be highlighted now let's go to the logout or else i'll open the admin credentials in the other browser so we'll understand better both working with the user and admin parallelly so in the microsoft edge i am going to open the admin account so sh admin sh admin at gmail.com password 1234567 uh, login so we got the admin account now uh, actually admin is having the notification so whenever the unseen notifications is present here we should get the badge with the number of unseen notifications so in the entity we have a component like batch that we are going to bring it now let's go to the yeah already we have opened the entity so we'll be having uh tag uh not tag uh where is uh tool tip timeline badge we should be having badge or skeleton this is anchor spin skeleton result progress pop confirm notification where is badge yeah here you can see we are having the badge so we have to get the badge like this here we should have the icon and we should have this uh, token not token number so we can copy the first one itself just copy the badge and go to the layout go to the layout so yeah this is the icon right so just keep the badge here keep the badge and the i should be present inside the badge let's import this see the output once here you can see we got the batch successfully so now it should be dynamic how it can be dynamic so const user so in the user will be having the unseen notifications you just have to write that user question mark dot unseen notifications that's all here you can see we don't have anything here so it should have at least uh, length dot length unseen notifications dot length so it is zero if i go to the admin here you can see i got one because the admin is having one notification which is a doctor account request so if you click on this we are going to get to the notification screen and from that we are going to get to the doctor screen and there we will up uh, approve the doctor account from the admin so it is looking good we just need to have some spacing like that so let me inspect this so i and uh, badge mm. 
so this is the i write uh, scroll number badge count so for this we just have to write some styling mm. we can have ri notification underline header action icon px3 yeah for these only i will write and badge count and badge count so let's go to the layout.css not layout ah it's related to the layout only mm. layout.css somewhere we will write it here dot and badge count so what we can write uh, i'll write padding is equal to padding left and padding bottom padding left is equal to minus 10 px minus 10 px important and padding bottom is equal to minus 10 px minus 10 px important now let's see uh, there is no change here actually okay this is that mm, actually we need to get the number for this number we have to write the styling okay it is having and scroll number only unit just copy this and scroll number only unit control s no it is not working and they are not giving the customization let's leave like this uh, i'll just have the padding between the uh, notification and admin uh, let's go to the layout mm. for this link only i'll just write the class name is equal to mx3 oh already we have the class name class name is equal to mx3 yeah nice this is looking good so if you click on this it is going to take to the notifications so in the next section we'll be working on the notification uh, notifications as well as the doctors and users list in the admin thank you welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the notification scene and unseen screens so right now i'm not going to put any notifications menu in the menu bar so anyhow we will be having the notification icon at the header part so whenever we click on this uh, notification icon it is going to navigate to the notifications so again notifications is common for all the users even for the doctor admin and a normal user so it will be common for all the roles now let's go to the ui close everything so right now uh, in the previous lecture we have applied a doctor account from the venom to the admin so if i open the admin i'll be having the notification icon triggered so whenever i click on the notification icon i have to navigate to the notification screens where i will have two tabs seen and unseen so in the scene tab i am going to have an icon to clear the notifications so whenever we click on the clear notifications or mark as seen we are going to send it to the uh, or uh, sorry so whenever we click on the mark as read it is going to store in the scene or else it will be uh, stayed in the unseen so i'll show you the prototype once so this is the deployed version right so if i go to the notifications you can see so we'll be having these notifications icon unread read so unread is nothing but unseen notifications read is nothing but already read notifications so we can make it mark all as read that means we are going to make it as seen and even in the scene also if you want to delete the old notifications you can delete so we are having the both functions so let's go and prepare this notification screen now okay go to the app.js first or else let's go to create the notifications page 
notifications.js rename we got this exclamatory mark i'll remove it rfce notifications now i'll remove everything here notifications oh sorry we just need to bring the layout not this layout layout and i'll be having uh, h1 dot page title notifications notifications so let's go to the layout so whenever we click on this badge i am going to write on click uh, navigate to notifications now let's go to the app.js copy this protected route make it notifications that's all now let's go and click from the microsoft edge so why in the notifications it is okay in the app.js we have not changed the component it's notifications yeah so now i'll click on this here you can see i'm into the notifications even in the microsoft also i am going to have the notifications now i'll be having two tabs here so let's go and find the tabs from the entity so tabs click on the tabs so it is very simple so you just need to have the parent element as the tabs then we have to destructure the tab pane and we have to render the content in the tab pane so just copy this statement or else directly put the tabs go to the notifications okay tabs then in this you will be having the tab dot tab pane so this tab pane is having the property title not title tab tab is equal to name so the first one will be uh, unread or unseen unseen and here we'll be having some some content like i'll put uh, initially i'll put one ht htm uh, h2 tag so just copy this and make it seen you can change the names accordingly if you want to keep it read and unread watched and unwatched all those things so here you can see unseen okay we got both seen yeah unseen seen now uh, uh we just need to have the key key is equal to this is one and here key is equal to two why we got okay i'll start from zero zero and one refresh why i'm getting to yeah i can navigate between the tabs now so here also if i refresh i'll be getting only two that's all so now in both seen and unseen we are going to have one action uh, link here so in the unseen we are going to have the link as mark all as read and in the scene we are going to have delete all so first i'm going to write uh, dot uh deflex i'll just write one h1 text with the class name underline underline so mark all as seen and here the uh, deflex would be justify content end justify content end and it should be anchor so it should have an underline so here also just keep the same thing delete all 
delete all now let's see yeah we got the icons so justify content we forgot t here justify content and so now we have the action icon so if i click on this i am going to get the empty unseen list if i click on the un uh, delete all in the scene i am going to clear all all the notifications from the user account so first in the unseen we are going to render the notifications so it's very simple already we will be having the user in the reducer const user is equal to use selector state is uh, state followed by state dot user let me import the use selector and here first we'll work on the unseen notifications so here i'm going to write user dot unseen notifications dot map <coughs> i'm going to render a div inside a div i'm going to render card text card text so we need to have one more parenthesis here yeah card text notification dot message notification dot message so here i am going to have class name is equal to card and uh, p2 let's see the output in the edge so here you can see i got the notification superb looking good so now uh, what we can do means uh, if we click on this notification we have to navigate to the respective path right so already we know the path where we have to navigate now let's go to the uh, notifications so for this div only uh, i'm going to write on click on click so we just need the navigate function const navigate is equal to use navigate use navigate then uh, where it is yeah navigate to so notification dot on click path on click path that's all so this is user we don't have any notifications for the user if i open the edge so here you can see i'm going to click on it so i'll be navigating to the admin doctors so everything is working fine so now if they click on mark all as seen we are going to clear the notifications from the unseen and we are going to push it to the scene so it's very simple uh, i'll just write const mark all as seen so async so let's uh, copy any one of the api call <coughs> go to the register copy this api call instead of hard coding everything from the scratch so let's import everything const dispatch is equal to use dispatch and we need show loading and hide loading all those things show loading and we don't require this stores dot success navigate also don't require we just need to show the message and toast dot error something went wrong yeah this is all good control s let's see what are the errors values we don't need the values we just need to send the user id to clear the notifications so that user id will be user dot underscore id and then axios is not defined let's define the axios and use dispatch is not defined hide loading is not defined and also toast hide loading and also toast that's all so mark all as read now what i am going to do means so i am going to call this function whenever i click on the uh, mark all as read on click
const oh mark call as read mark call as scene so this is the function right mark call as scene so now when we uh, hit this api so i'm going to change the api endpoint uh, user slash uh, mark notifications mark all notifications as seen so this is the endpoint mark all notifications as seen so when we click on this it is going to uh, push all the unseen notifications to seen notifications but in the layout also we have to decrease the count so for that we have to reload the layout how we can reload the layout so here you can see if you go to the protected route we will be having the get user function so we are going to put the data in the layout with the help of this get user only because here we are adding the user data to the dispatch red user so whenever there is any change in the notifications we are going to call this get user function so it is going to get the updated user from the back end and it is going to update the notifications count in the layout part so that's how it works now how we can do that so this is get user right now i'm going to have one more variable in the user red user let's go to the red user mm. redux users user slice i'm going to have reload user reload user is equal to false now i'm going to have function reload user data reload user data so we are going to get action dot payload so whenever reload user is true we are going to call the get data function in the protected route so here uh, we have written user and also reload user so whenever the reload user variable change so first we have to bring this here user and uh, reload user so whenever the reload user change we are going to check if it is true or if it is true reload user then we are going to call the get user function so by completing the next lecture you will understand this better so it is very simple the purpose why i am writing this code is whenever we hit on this uh, where is it uh, reload something went wrong here let me check inspect mm, yeah okay by default it should be true right uh, layout.js oh sorry red user user slice by default it will be true and whenever the uh, reload is completed we are going to make it that means whenever the user data is came in the success we are going to make uh, set or reload uh, user info false dispatch right yeah dispatch reload user info reload user info false i think this, uh, let me cross check the function user slice yeah reload user data i'm going to refresh why the snippet is not working set user and uh, reload user data imported as user data uh, okay we just have to export this here that's all now it should work it is reloading still i am having few issues uh, let me cross check let's open the chrome here also it went wrong mm. there is some issue by default it is true so in the protected route what we have given if not user or reload user is true we are going to make it get user this is true and this is false so it is going to call the function 
reload user data false user slice action dot payload okay so just remove this reload user data so we have one more easy solution here also uh, what we can do means remove this reload just remove here so instead of having double double steps i will show you one of the easiest one uh, already we have this set user function right so whenever we clear the notifications we are going to get the user object so that user object we can call with this function so that's the easy one so refresh so let me log out and log in to resolve the issues i'll remove this in the protector rod we should not have anything wrong yeah everything is perfect let's go to the output and clear everything something uh, cache issue maybe so i am going to clear the token in both uh, user and uh, admin application local storage delete delete so first i will log in with the admin in the edge sh admin password 1234567 login so i think there is an internet issue yeah here you can see that's the reason we could not able to do i am reconnecting it sorry for the misconception mm let me open some other website i am curious whether i am getting the internet or not okay open the network i think the back end server has crashed yeah so whenever there is any internet issue the back end server will crash so you have to restart it nodemon server now let's log in the user details first mm venam 1 2 3 password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 login so the user logged in again we got an issue let's log in again 1 2 3 4 5 6 yeah now it is perfect after refreshing it is going to login page i am not sure why the token is getting deleted uh let's keep these edge as it is and resolve the issues in the chrome only console could not fetch mm okay let's go to the protected route let me check if anything is wrong yeah so we have this dispatch user data so we don't have this function at the uh, reducer <coughs> yeah so now it should work venom password 1234567 login refresh yeah now it's working fine now let's go to the admin login working fine we got the notifications so now i can able to see the notification so in the next lecture we are going to see how to clear the notifications by changing the layout i will show you the i will show you the solution in the next lecture thank you Welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the mark all as seen and delete notifications so first we are going to work on the mark all as screen api let's go to the back end mm user model so we are having the seen notifications and seen notifications so whenever the mark all as seen api is called we are going to push this data to this data so go to the route apply doctor account so from this copy and remove everything in the try block remove everything in the try block and change the endpoint mark all 
notifications as seen so here first i'm going to write const user is equal to await user dot find one we will get the user id from the front end so request dot body dot user id now i'm going to write const uh, unseen notifications is equal to user dot unseen notifications now i'm going to write user dot seen notifications is equal to unseen notifications so we are going to make all the unseen notifications to seen notifications and we will make user dot unseen notifications empty because we are calling the function mark all notifications as seen that we that means unseen notifications will be empty now we are going to call the find one by update method mm await okay we just need to get the response also const updated user is equal to so user dot underscore id no find one by id yeah here this is also correct because in this we will be having the user dot underscore id or else we can also use request dot body dot user id both will be perfect and we are calling the user so everything is cool now in the response dot send method we are going to have success true and message all notifications marked as seen and we are going to send the data also so here i'll just write updated user dot password is equal to undefined now data is equal to updated user so hope this should work uh unseen notifications looking clean and neat mm. okay so in the similar manner just write uh, delete all notifications delete all notifications so it is very simple than the remaining one seen notifications is equal to empty unseen notifications is equal to empty and you just need to write updated is equal to find one by id yeah that's all so we are going to send the updated user by making the password undefined that's all so this is about delete all notifications so let's call one by one so we have to fix the errors one by one only go to the protected route notifications.js so when we call this mark all as seen we are going to call the api api slash mark all seen no notifications as seen and we are sending the user id so based on this user id only we are finding the user here you can see we are finding the user and we are going to make the necessary changes now if it is success we are going to show toast dot success and i am going to call dispatch set user response dot data dot data so it is going to change all the things in the layout as well as in the tabs oh sorry set user should be imported from the user slice and that's all so let's hope it should work so in the user we don't have any notifications Mm. Yeah. So I'm clicking on this. Again it has gone. I don't know why. Refresh. Think there is an issue in the edge part maybe. If I refresh in the Chrome I am not getting any issue. You can see it is working fine even in the notification screen also. okay i think there is an issue in the notification screen let's go and cross check mark all as seen mm for h1 we have written on click 
why it is getting crashed then on click navigate let's open the console okay cannot read properties null of unseen notifications so somewhere we forgot to put the question mark in the optional chaining so let's go and uh, check that it is uh, notifications line number 37 yeah here unseen notifications yeah now it is working so to avoid the crashes you have you have to use the optional chaining so like this so whenever there is unseen notifications in the user then only it will load refresh now there is no issue even in the edge also now let's try to hit the mark all as screen so first for the first of all this mark all as screen i'm going to make the cursor pointer so already i have written anchor index.css anchor cursor pointer and for the safe side i will open the network to see what i am getting from the back end i am clicking on this loading something went wrong authentication failed okay we forgot to put the headers yeah this is expected you can see we have given only user id we forgot to put the headers yeah sometimes it happens no worries so authorization authorization it's not user dot token as i said it is local storage dot get item token local storage dot get item token now let's hit from the edge refresh mark all as read suppose we got the mark all as seen no all notifications marked as seen if i open the data again in the unseen notifications i have the data because the data is not changed we got success response but there is no change in the data let's see what is the issue user route so const unseen notifications is equal to user dot unseen notifications and user dot seen notifications is equal to empty okay 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 find by id update so instead here i'll do dot 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 I'll remove this uh, updated user. I'll just write because we are changing only one property. Or else, uh, await user dot save. This is okay. And here, unseen notifications. So, seen notifications is equal to. Mm, already we will be having some of the scene notifications so we have to push this so that's the reason it is not changing maybe i'll just write mm, const scene notifications scene notifications is equal to user dot scene notifications now what i will do means scene notifications dot push seen notifications dot push all unseen notifications so already uh, we will be having some of the seen notifications because it is also an array so we are going to push all the unseen notifications to the seen notifications now i am going to write user dot unseen notifications is equal to empty array and user dot seen notifications is equal to here we will be having like seen notifications user dot seen notifications is equal to seen notifications 
so it's little bit confusing you have to follow the names are uh, looking similar but this is the process first we have to get both the properties then we have to push one property to another then we have to assign that properties this is the flow now this time it should work i think uh, let's hit the api superb here you can see all notifications marked as seen so the icon has also gone now in the scene we have to see that so it's very simple in the notifications just copy this code and put it here instead of unseen notifications have seen notifications that's all uh refresh okay so it got cleared from unseen but i am not sure whether it is when to seen notifications or not uh let's see in the network oh not here yeah here you can see it has came now so actually i have seen it in the chrome window which is a user account so here you can see in the admin now i can see unseen is equal to empty seen is equal to 1 now i am going to click on the delete all before clicking on the delete all i am going to make the api change so instead of find by id and update i am going to write await updated user is equal to await user dot save that's all now i'll open here i'm going to click on the delete all oh we have not written the function right uh, let's go and uh, click on that so as like mark all as read just have delete all delete all so here also you have to send the just user id and here you just need to call anchor tag right on click on click is equal to delete all now let's click on the doctor account delete all all notifications marked as seen okay we have not changed the endpoint actually so this is delete all delete all notifications notifications that's all so let's click on this again that's all here you can see now we don't have any notifications in the seen and unseen so we are going to test the notification functionality once again so let's close this so actually as of now we have applied a doctor account from the venom so now i am going to delete the doctor account in the doctors i am going to apply once again to test the notifications is working fine or not so let's uh, listen very clearly in the microsoft edge we have opened the admin account in the chrome we have opened the user account which is going to apply for the doctor so now i am going to the apply doctor screen i am going to fill the values manually with the help of this form filler so i'll add some timings uh 9 to 20 that's all this is the timings now i am going to click on the submit button so doctor account applied successfully i have been navigated to the home page so now i'll go to the admin and i will refresh the page i should get the uh, icon here now refresh superb here you can see i got the icon because we got a request from the user to approve the admin account now if i click on this here you can see uh kevin whitaker has uh, applied for the doctor account if i click on this i'll be navigating to the admin slash doctor here we are going to list of the doctors and we'll be having the action button to approve so admin can approve from here so by this we have completed 50 percent of the course so what we have completed means authentication layout admin panel 
admin panel we have just started and notifications so from this we are going to work mostly on the doctor and uh, user interfaces so from the admin we'll be having the approval and uh, blocking all the mechanisms but the main thing is time slots and dates and from the next section we'll be working on that thank you